I'll tell you what, you are uh, one of my favorite people. I, I really, really enjoyed our, our chat for underground and, and uh, leverage when we were doing that stuff. And congratulations, by the way, on what's coming up there. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Invisible Man is, you know, it is such a classic tale. And I like the spin that uh, Lee and Jason put on it this time. It was edge of your seat, creepy, you know, and, and yet scientifically it was, it, it worked. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, man. Um, that's the thing that I love the most about it is that for all of the sort of crazy uh, imagination that's pushed in there, it actually makes tangible sense, which makes the, the film even scarier because you're like, oh, wait a minute. Could this really happen? One <laughs> you're like, whoa, you know, and that's what I love about it. Man. It, it really does a, a fantastic job of that. And and your character James is kind of us. I think I think we're living this through through him as the audience. Yeah. We're discovering the plot and everything through through James. Yeah, man. Yeah, I I appreciate you saying so, man. I, I do think that James is a um, sort of a, a a point of reference for for reason when it comes to or rationale when it comes to trying to figure this whole thing out you know he's trying to be there for his friend but she's going through a crazy scenario and he doesn't exactly know how to take it he's trying to figure out do i believe this or do i not so um i i loved uh their relationship you know between james and, and cecilia and then you know also james being a just trying to be a good old boy you know he's got a daughter sydney i love their relationship too you know he, he's uh, he, he was um, a fantastic character to to, to step into. Uh, working with Elizabeth Moss has got to be what butter, just amazing. <laughs> it is, man. It is. She's fantastic, man. You you know she she knows this genre so well. She's kind of an ace at it, and she was so involved with so much of, of what was going on when it came to to scene setup and, and how we wanted to play things out and. You know, we talk about certain things, talk about beats and moments and trying to reach them. And, you know, she just she she just understands she understands the genre really, really well. And she's just a, she's a great person. I mean, you, you've met her. Yes. Yeah. You, you do, yeah. She's awesome. Yeah, man. She, she can do like, anything. Yeah. The surprising thing about it is just how, how low key and just like down to earth she is. And, you know, go out, have a good old time and. and you know, have a dinner. We're talking about sushi all the time. I wasn't a big sushi guy, but they got me in there. They got me. <laughs> they hooked oh, you. They got it me. It was a plot. Yeah. They yeah, get you in yeah. there. Uh, and, and, and the DVD, the, the Blu-ray, has so many great bonus features on it as yeah, well. Yeah. It, it really sushi. is one of those must-have, you know, again, I'm a huge fan of horror, huge mm -hmm. fan of thriller. This yeah. isn't like you know, a, a jump scare movie. This is really like a Hitchcock psychological thriller. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you think so, man. It is a psychological thriller because at the base of it, at least what it, what it was for me, you know, we're dealing with uh, the, the fear of mental manipulation. This man who has a, a mental hold on this woman and, you know, whether he's there or not there, it's still something that's holding her and she has to fight to get away from that. And that's yeah, there's a, there's a bit of gaslighting going on. A little bit, a little bit. So, <laughs> and that's the scariest thing, because that doesn't happen in real life, you know. Yeah. And we do have those moments where you jump, though, because <laughs> yeah. I remember watching this in the theater with an audience during the premiere, and people were jumping. It was hilarious watching everyone. Oh, wow, oh, wow. I was, I was just sitting back laughing. I ain't going to lie. It probably shouldn't have been, but I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, you know... You as an actor probably make a great audience too, because you know it's it's just lovely to see things when they really really work. Yeah, it is, man. I mean, for me, my mind is automatically tied to what we did and how we did it. So I'm looking for very spe specific things, but every now and then I just have to cut that off and try to just be an audience member. So I remember the very first time I saw it, it was just myself, two of my friends, mm -hmm. and I was just like, let me experience this, and it was fantastic. And then at the premiere with the audience, what I wanted to do was see it with everybody. I wanted to see how they responded because that's what I love. 
I love because I'm waiting. I, I know the moments where I want people to jump. I know the moments where I want them to, to react or laugh or whatever. And when they actually do, or when they surprise me and jump at moments that I didn't expect, that becomes the best part of this experience, you know? So, um, you know, when I'm, when I'm sitting there laughing at everybody screaming and howling, it's not necessarily, it's not a bad thing. It's like, I'm, I'm overjoyed, but it's really surprising. And, and, uh, it's, it's a, it's just a great thing to see people just take in your art and actually enjoy it. I'll just, uh, in our in our final seconds we have together, uh, congratulations on, on Leverage 2. I mean, that's Thank big you. news. I was just talking with Dean and I was talking with Kristen the other day and everyone is like excited. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm, I'm most excited for the fans because, you know, we've been, uh, we stopped filming in 2012 was when the first season, uh, first series run was canceled. We had five seasons. Uh, so we've been in syndication now eight years eight years and people are still saying, well, we're season six, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that sort of loyalty and fandom is, is unreal. So the fact that we're coming back, I really am just excited to see how fans will take it. That's, that's what's most exciting for me. Well, congratulations on everything that you're doing and, and, you. and all the extra work and hop behind the camera and direct one of those uh, leverage pieces, make that a deal. You know what? I'm actually in the midst of, uh, well, I was going to direct a short film before we got shut down with quarantine. Still going to do it, yeah. but I, I have more time to set up. So um, maybe one of these days I might uh, get behind the, the camera and, and direct a, a, an episode or two. Aldous, it's always great catching up with you. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, brother. Take care. Be well. All right.